Um, so I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, I want to thank every one of you for taking the time out of your day to attend today's webinar, uh, which is Becoming a Premier Brand. My name is Kevin Casey, and I am the Customer Experience Manager here at Collages. I'll be hosting the webinar today along with a very special guest, or guests, I should say, Val and Stephanie Westover. And uh, the, 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 the main topic here is... Um, is they're going to be talking about uh, a brand they're, they're launching called Capturing True Emotion. Um, so Val and Stephanie are actually joining us today from Orange County, California, and I uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out and say thank you guys for, for joining us and helping out. How are you today? We're doing great. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you so much, Kevin. Awesome. Yeah, we're really excited to get you guys on board and telling all of our attendees exactly what you have to tell them. Um, but before we jump into the webinar, just wanted to let you guys know about how to use the webinar software. Um, if this is your first webinar, you'll notice on the right-hand side you have a screen that looks very similar to this. Um, that is part of the webinar program. And this is also how you will communicate through me or communicate with us because your microphones are disabled. You can only hear us. And if you have any questions during, during the webinar, uh, just use the chat feature, uh, and I will be answering questions as they come through. And if at any time you need to maximize or minimize the window, uh, just put this orange arrow found right here. Um, and last but not least, most importantly, um, if you are watching the webinar on a mobile device, such as an iPad or smartphone or ta any tablet, you have to make sure you download the GoToMeeting app in order to view the slides that we're going over today. Um, if you don't have the app, you can only hear us and you won't be able to see anything that's going on. Um, so let's see, without further ado, I think I'm going to pass the screen sharing on over to you guys. Awesome. Let me know when you can see it. All right, we can see it. You can see it? Okay, wonderful. Hello, everybody, and uh, thank you so much for joining us and welcome. We are going to do our webinar today and focus on becoming a premier brand and how to rise above your competition. Capturing true emotion photography is your most trusted source for finding a certified professional photographer. We were asked, um, we did a presentation not too long ago, and we were asked if capturing true emotion is geared just for portrait or wedding photography, and no, it's not. It's for any type of professional photography. It's your most trusted source in finding a professional photographer, which we're excited to talk to you about. And my name is Val Westover. And I'm Stephanie Adriana. And recently we just got married, so it's now Val and Stephanie Westover. <laughs> and we're both, we're both certified professional photographers. I've been doing it a little bit longer than Stephanie. Just a little bit. Since, so. since the early 1800s. Absolutely. So we have 7,000 active clients in Orange County in the United States, of course, and some over, in the, over the water. We do portraits and weddings. Headshots, events, which are just crazy, and I do boudoir. Val does not. It is kind of a no boys allowed situation. And, oh, I'm supposed to change the slide, sorry. Yeah, okay. And then um, we have a coaching program. A lot of photographers um, who've been in the business as long as I have um, also you know, teach as well. And so I wrote a book, and Stephanie and I have traveled the country. We've taught a lot, a lot of people photography, and we, we, we have a great time doing it. And we currently have an online photography course. Yeah, our live workshops kind of led to doing an online course, and now about 8,000 people are currently taking the online course, which is really cool. And then when we're bored, um, we go to fun places. Um, we just got back from Ireland to concentrate on our fine art and our fine art can be seen in um, Forest and Ocean Gallery in Laguna Beach. And of course, hotels and businesses and restaurants and homes all over the place. 
But enough about us. Um, what we're excited about sharing with everyone is capturing true emotion and how to um, become a premier brand and rise above your competition with capturing true emotion. And pretty much how to make your mark as a professional photographer in what we feel is a pretty confusing marketplace. For the consumer. So I mean it's confusing enough for us professional photographers, but imagine the consumer who is searching for a professional photographer. How do they know? How do they know who they're picking and if they're qualified, if they're professional, if they're going to follow through with their product? So those are the questions. So back in when I started. Yeah, this was your, your setup yes. back when you started. When I started, it was really easy to find. I, you know, there, it was pretty much the only game in town. Right, right. And look, look at all the kind of gear you had. So that was cool. That made you a professional. This is not me. So anyways. <laughs> So anyways, no, I mean, there was, there was a handful of us out here, and we were the professional photographers for portrait, wedding, whatever you need, commercial, what have you. And at that point, the client, you know, they didn't have a hard time finding us. No. And today, with, with the rise of technology and digital and everything like that, which is wonderful, it's now... Open season on photography. So anyone with a camera, anyone with a passion for it, can now be a professional photographer as far as the consumer is concerned. So as a professional, I really have to make my mark so that I stand out. Absolutely. So so who is your competition, Val? Well, right now, I wish my competition was just the pros, but it's not only the pros, it's also the prosumer. And here we put here what the prosumers are good. They're they're actually they're great. They help companies. Um, they, they they have professional grade equipment, but they're not making money. However, they're a, a professional consumer. There are some of them, though, claiming to be experts and and going out there. And I think it's making the marketplace confusing. I think so too. And and what happens is is that this prosumer has all of the equipment. They have a fantastic website, and now the consumer assumes that this is a professional person. So because of this kind of mess, and because we also have a prosumer that is taking advantage of the consumer, we have horror stories that happen, and, and this is kind of one of them that we'd like to show you. Well, let's just watch this quick video real quick. If it'll play. It should. You can do it. It's not going to want to. Hold on. It'll do it. I think I can make it do it. Thank you, Val. You say a picture's worth. You say a picture's worth a thousand words. A Especially on your wedding day. That one day can't be repeated, and the photos are cherished for decades and generations to come. But what do you do when your wedding photographer doesn't deliver? You get consumer advocate Michelle Mortensen on your side. That's what you do. Yeah, wedding photos mean so much to so many couples. I mean, I bet those of you still cherish yours. I know seven years later, I still have mine on my desk. And you know what? I bet you do too. So when I heard from several disappointed brides who claimed that their photographer refused to give them their photos from their big day, I had to get on their side. On your wedding day, everything is supposed to be picture perfect. But for these four women, it was anything but. All because of this man, Michael Guevara. The photos that he presented were amazing. That's Carissa Villalobos, one of the many brides who hired Tassie Image, run by Michael Guevara, to shoot her September wedding. His online portfolio was, in her words, exquisite. But what she got? None of them are really. I'll say it. Good. Take a look for yourself. She got dozens of candidates at the reception and not much else. And Carissa's one of the lucky ones. The others got much less. I got two photos from Paige. These are the only photos Judith Hubanks has of her big day at the Springs Preserve this January. I feel really devastated. I mean, I can't believe a person 
person could do such a thing almost brings me to tears. So Jen Prince got a few more photos from her November wedding in Mesquite, all candid, mainly of guests at her reception. And bride Lou Emily, who wed in December, got the worst of it. Just one picture of her leg. It pissed me off. Each bride tried calling and writing Guevara to get their pictures. He or his wife, Jessica, responded to each bride just once with a sob story. A very similar sob story. Mm -hmm. In a coma. He was in a coma. He was in a coma for three days. But none of that was true. How do we know? Well, let me break that down. First, when Carissa got the story of the coma, Guevara was shooting Jen's wedding. When Jen got the coma story, Guevara was shooting Judith's wedding. And when Lou Emily got the coma story, I actually had Guevara on the phone. He was lying to me, promising he'd make everything right, but he never did. I started monitoring him and his wife on social media daily. I covered while he was in a coma, he was actually traveling and dining and shopping with his wife all over Las Vegas and Southern California. Next, I started to analyze his flashy website. After days of doing image searches, I found his pictures weren't his. He actually stole them from this guy, Chris Smouch of Good Eye Photography in California, who I notified of the theft. Um, it was pretty shocking, and I was pretty, you know, outraged. I then got Guevara's website taken down and had him banned for life from the referral agency he used called Thumbtack. But I still wasn't satisfied, so I hunted him down at home. I went morning, noon, and night for days, but he never faced me. Do you have anything to say for yourself? no matter how hard I tried. Or the many, many bribes you ripped off? While he never opened the door, days later, Michael Guevara did surprise me. Well, while Guevara still refuses to speak with me, he has tried to make things right with at least one bride. Carissa told me she has finally received her wedding album. The other brides are still hoping and waiting, though. All right. So now we don't mean to scare everybody, and you know it's kind of scary to see that uh, this one photographer stole images from another photographer's site, trying to make himself look credible. And that's the whole point: is that we have photographers, uh, whether you know many who are definitely not qualified, uh, stealing images to make themselves look qualified, or being that one-shot wonder, putting that fantastic shot on their website. So how do you rise above all of the riffraff and the competition on other listing sites? Well, first of all, what you and I have learned over this last few years is to collaborate with like-minded individuals. Absolutely. It's very difficult to do everything on your own. I mean, there's, there's a lot involved in being, especially running your own business. Correct running your own business, being a photographer, that you're wearing so many different hats. So this is you and, uh, oh my gosh, for the consumer, how is the consumer going to know when they're looking at gazillions of sites and Googling in their area who the professional photographer is, how are they going to know that you are the professional photographer in your area? Um, and how they're going to do that is when you join together with Capturing True Emotion, CTE, it's going to be a collaboration of the best of the best, the best qualified, certified photographers. So that's what's so cool is that now you're going from being one solitary figure in a crowd to just being in a group of very highly qualified photographers. So it makes it very simple for the consumer to know that you are the best. And I don't mind, I, like I said, I like competition because it keeps me on, it keeps me on the edge. It keeps me constantly evolving. Um, however, put me with um, the right group. Right, well you don't. want to be apples to apples and not apples to bananas and coconuts. So extract me from um, those who I feel aren't at my level or qualified yet and put me in with the professionals. Absolutely. And now let the client decide, but give them a place to go. The, the listing sites today, anybody can pay to get into the listing sites. Right. Um, we're capturing true emotion. Um, you can't. Well, you no, can't and, and so basically you ask, 
how is capturing true emotion different from other either membership sites or professional photography organizations and clubs? How are we different and how we're different is our mission statement. I, how many organizations and listing sites have you and I searched about that, how many of them actually have a mission? Oh, I don't I, no. I haven't seen it. No. <laughs> no. And that's the thing, is that capturing true emotion itself is going to be a collection of qualified professional photographers. It's so cool because we all share a dedication of capturing true emotion in our works. We offer our clients uh, advantages by show, showcasing to the consumer qualified professional photographers who offer the highest in quality for customer service and products. And what's nice about that, and I'm glad that we're um, with Kevin right now talking to um, his audience, um, as well as possibly other photographers out there. And, and, I, and I hear um, frustration going on in the industry, and what, what capturing, the reason why I think capturing true emotion is so cool is because it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a club of the best of the best. This is where you go. This is where you hang out. There's no risk involved. If if you think about it, it's it's like right now a place where you can go to find um, other like people of your same caliber. Yeah, like whether it's a wedding photographer, Jack Randall, who's on there. We just started asking for beta testers. So before we launch, we want to open the doors to all those who are qualified. Absolutely. So that's the thing, is that I, I love, I'm not going to read our mission statement, but this is our mission statement. And this is what we hold not only to the consumer that is coming to our site, but to our fellow photographers that list with capturing true emotion. And, and this is the standard that we're going to uphold. And we just... All I can say is the word integrity. Our whole system right now is so lacking in integrity, we need to showcase those who have it. And right now, for those who want to see the mission statement, um, capturing true emotion is not live yet, but if you wanted to visit the site, um, you could go to capturingtrueemotion.com forward slash beta. And it's B-E-T-A. Beta, B as in boy. ETA. And um, from there you can see the mission statement. So the cool thing about capturing true emotion, and this is what separates us from other listing sites like you can find everywhere when you Google professional people, is that you cannot buy a membership or a listing on capturing true emotion. You can't just buy it. You have to be qualified. We have minimum requirements, which are great, and everyone should have the minimum requirements, but they don't. But we also are looking for photographers with integrity, experience, knowledge, skill, and exceptional exceptional customer service and products. And the great thing about this right here is we are not trying to sell anyone out there listening right now on capturing true emotion. It's right now it's free. Get in on the ground level and be a part of this great um, website. But this is how you're going to get noticed. First of all, I like listing sites, but I can't find a listing site that I want to be on. That you want to be a part of. And why wouldn't you want to be a part of other listing sites? Because you're around other people who aren't qualified. Because, and I'll tell you why I like a listing site. First of all, right now as a photographer, running my own business, and of course, you and I are both doing this. How many hats do you wear? There's a lot involved in trying to make sure that my website stays at the, at the highest level it can in the search engines. Correct. So I have to fill, both you and I, we have to fill our website just with as much content as possible. So we are all over social media, we're doing blog posts, we're doing newsletters. Just, when, when do you get to shoot? It's a full-time job. <laughs> and you know something? It's something that we'll always have to do. Right. You know, you, you, you can't put, uh, drop the ball on that. And, you know, to make your mark. So to have a rich, uh, content-rich website, you have to do all these things. 
so that the search engines like you and put you at a higher ranking than maybe a competitor that's not doing that. The, the nice thing about joining a listing site is that your content that you have on your website now can, with some um, listing sites, can also be a collaboration with thousands of others who have the same interests. Um, call themselves professionals, for instance, or um, you practice the same um, venue as you, such as photography. So, and at that point, they show up much higher in the search engine than you would by yourself. And the reason why is because their website is just so filled with content. Absolutely. So, being on Capturing True Motion raises your visibility, your rankings, and will bring more clients to you just because you're in a collaboration with other high end photographers filling the site with content. And with Capturing True Emotion, you're I think you hit the nail on the head, it's credibility. And credibility is because now um, with the whole cause or mission statement that there's only a certain type of photographer that is allowed in capturing true emotion, you are going to be much more credible. Okay, so what are some of the other fun things that capturing true emotion is going to give to our photographers? So besides more clients, which, and did I say again, more clients, uh, very important is increased visibility, which everybody wants, credibility, which is incredible. If you don't already have your credentials on your website, please do it. Just a note from Stephanie. Please list your credentials. And the reason why is that that definitely puts you uh, definitely uh, miles in front of your competition. I look at so many websites of other photographers, and all they do is they say they have a passion for photography. They don't list that they actually have knowledge and skill and experience, many years. The other cool thing about capturing true emotion, it's going to provide our professional photographers that are listed with us pro resources. So if, if for some reason you are listening to this webinar and you are not already with collages, you have the opportunity now to become a, a, a collages client. And that is so incredible for maybe even somebody who is starting photography to now realize, wow, I might not be qualified to be listed on Capturing True Motion, but hey, look, if you're a professional photographer, look at what you have. You have all of these pro resources like uh, retouching and labs and professional photography equipment. Also what Capturing True Emotion is going to create is a community. And that is so important for us professional photographers to be around like-minded groups. Now I know there are so many wonderful professional photography communities out there. And I do think that they are so important, whether you're with Capturing True Emotion or whether you're with somebody else. These communities help us talk to each other and see how we need to evolve and better our own marketplace and better our own system. And also contacts. This is so cool because now you can uh, create contacts with other professionals and we can use this as a system, as a network with each other uh, in times of need. Hey, I have a friend in New York. Uh, she needs a wedding photographer. I'm already booked. Who can I refer her to? Let's go to Capture Into Emotion and refer her to a New York-based photographer. And another thing that will give me and other photographers more visibility um, through Capturing True Emotion is we, ha we will have the ability to write up to two blog posts um, per month on the Capturing True Emotion site. So we'll be approved columnists on Capturing True Emotion. As well as we will be able to submit up to 10 uh, professional resources every month. So we could write a review on that. Um, we could always um, link it back to our website. So there's some powerful things that we can do as a community to yeah. share with each other and share um, and also give us more visibility. Absolutely so. I'm sure some of you are saying, oh my god, 
the requirements are kind of high. What if I don't qualify? Call us. Please call us. And there might be something that's missing on your website or something you haven't listed or uh, knowledge or skill or experience. And call us and we'll tell you what our requirements are. And we do want like-minded and like-experienced people on Capturing True Emotion. So that's the thing is, is how do you get started with Capturing True Emotion? You contact us and you become one of our beta testers on our site. Yeah, right now, um, Kevin, at the end of this um, presentation, I believe it's going to give everyone a link um, to uh, to register because you're not going to register the normal way because we're going to make sure that everybody has a coupon code so that they're not charged um, to go to the site. Absolutely. And so we know a lot of people too that say, okay, so I've listed with you. Uh, when am I going to have, when's the phone going to start ringing off the hook? And I'm just going to say right now we are building this incredible uh, listing site. And what we need is we need your feedback. We need your professional feedback on what we need to add, what we need to change, if there is anything uh, that we can do to benefit you greater. But let me tell you, this is going to be a monster, and we intend to bring the flood of confused consumers to us. And we're going to, oh, okay, so basically we're going to kickstart your success by of course, promoting Capturing True Emotion on social media and marketing and doing some cool tactics so we can change the whole consumer and retrain the consumer to know exactly what a professional photographer is. But this is how you can kickstart your own success through Capturing True Emotion. So let me, um, let me pause for a minute and just go to the website real quickly and show you. We've got the images that are on the home page right now, those are just place marker images. Um, we want to be able to put other photographers' images on the site. And as you can see, there's two ways a, a consumer, a potential client, um, to be able to find a photographer. There's find a photographer in the menu, and there's also a find photographer dropdown. You can type in um, a location. I'll put in my zip code right here and hit search. From here, the, the nice thing it, about Capturing True Emotion is we will not be collecting any money from a, a potential client. We want to send them directly to you. So once they put in their location, um, they can see the photographers that pop up on the map. Um, not only can they see the photographers that pop up on the map, the photographers are listed below the map as well to where they can go and see just the basic information and then they can click to see the full details of the photographer. They can also just click on the map itself and quickly get the company website, email address, phone number right off the bat or they can click on full details. Uh, if you go back to the home page, well let me Let's say, for instance, you don't have a location and you just want to search for, let's say, I'm a portrait photographer, so we'll use portrait. So we'll go down here to portrait. We'll click on portrait, and then from there we'll see who shows up in my area as a portrait photographer. And, of course, it'll probably be the same people, people that we have on the map, which it is. Once you go to the home page, anyone that signs up, will show up on the home page and I'll give you an example here's Rick Blanco we'll view his profile and I believe he's from Pennsylvania and and our featured photographers will rotate so as people sign up as people come in uh, all of the featured photographers will rotate on that front page uh, at one point we will have situations where you can uh, put up uh, your own uh, what is that called your own banner 
up there and, and neat things. So the site is able to grow and become more robust with everyone who comes on. But it's really neat that uh, everyone gets to see what you specialize in. It has your company website right there, and they contact you directly. So Capturing True Emotion has no business. We're, we're not into taking any money from the uh, consumer that is looking for a professional photographer or taking money from you for even a referral. So it's kind of cool. Oh, and look at those great um, reviews. reviews from them. So that's another thing is that you can uh, place your reviews and everything on this site. It, it's going to end up being pretty cool for whoever signs up with us. Hey, so real quick, um, I have a question for, or a question we have in the audience. Um, I have a photographer in the uh, architectural photography market, okay. and I know it's a little different than than what you know what we're talking about. But just wanted to see if, if you could assure him how um, how we're going to draw customers to the site if he creates a listing um, for for a very that's a very niche photography market. So just wanted to see how that would work out. On here as well. Well to, well, to answer that question, and I'm glad um, that somebody is out there um, in that field. Um, when somebody comes to Caption True Emotion, uh, they're going to be searching for any sort of professional. And as you can see right here, architectural is one of the options. But also, you're going to ask, how are our fingers going to reach out the opposite way? So not only a consumer who is coming to us looking for a professional photographer, how do they know that we specialize in architectural or we have photographers in our listing that specialize in that? And we're going to do that through allowing this photographer to do strategic blog posts about their business, which now, capturing to emotion, our, if our architectural photographers are placing blog posts for the consumer on this site and also linking back to their website, now when the consumer searches an architectural photographer, they will come up the highest because now they are a featured Capturing True Emotion professional photographer. They are a certified, qualified pro, and they will stand out amongst the referral. And the reason why listing companies um, co um, come up higher in the search engine um, results when you do a search is because there's so much content. And what Capturing True Emotion will be doing is anytime somebody signs up, this photographer is just going to be filling it up with keyword rich content their specialties, how long they've been in business, um, their reviews. Their clients. It, it just filled with um, uh, content and keywords. And then, um, like Stephanie said, one things that, the two things that we do that are different than other listing sites is that photographers have the ability to write blog posts on capturing true emotion. Not only do they have the ability to do that, they also have the ability to list professional resources. So resources that apply to an architect, for instance, or an architectural photographer. So now when somebody, let's say in California or New York, it doesn't matter, when they go to do a search for an architectural photographer, capturing true emotion will show up very high in the search engine results because of all of the keywords that are in this website. Okay, and then also a word to everyone who's listening. We're right now, absolutely, while we're building, we're doing the beta site, Capturing True Emotion, for everybody who's listening, is free. So if you want to be listed with Capturing True Emotion, it is a free listing that we are inviting you to and offering to you. The moment it no longer is free and we close it, so now you all have gotten in and you are our favorite fundamental people on this site. We now open it up to other professional photographers who qualify. They start uh, paying for their listings and when they are paying for their listings, the majority of the money that is coming in is going to be reinvested into advertising. So we, it is our priority to get as many consumers looking at this site. So if we have a large contingent that is architectural and if not even a small contingent, 
we will definitely make sure that our advertising feelers go out to that market. Hope that answers that question. Kevin, did you have any other questions that were out there? Um, that was the only one that I needed so, to talk to you guys about right now. Okay, great. Well, it's a great question, and I'm glad it was asked. And um, But let's continue here. Let me see where we were. And hit play. And Social media. So right now, how to help promote Capturing True Emotion when you're on Capturing True Emotion. You're going to want to tell the world that you are a Capturing True Emotion photographer. So we will provide you with a certification seal for your website. So it's kind of an award stamp for your website. If a potential client clicks on that, then they can see how credible you are just um, by the page that we've created on Capturing True Emotion for you. So like we said, because you're listening to this, you get one year of a free listing from uh, for collages.net photographers and clients. And we are so fortunate to be partnered up with uh, collages.net and get them with capturing true emotion. So we're just so excited to invite these photographers. And one of the requirements of being listed with capturing true emotion is you have to be able to prove that you offer professional products. And I think Stephanie and I, we've been using collages since the early 1800s. Yeah, uh, he, are you that old, Kevin? I don't think so. Well, he's, there's been a couple more Kevins before him. You have been a long line of Kevins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but anyways, you got, uh, Kevin, Collages offer, offers such a superior product, and um, we're really proud every, every single time that we present our works to a customer that it came from Collages, and it's, it's just, it's really nice to be able to have such a high-end quality product that you guys produce for us. Well, and not only that, but I'm going to have to tell you that professional proofing for your images is such an important tool. I cannot tell you how many prosumer beginner photographers are showing their work on social media and other wishy-washy uh, consumer sites. And this really, really makes sure that your client knows that you're a professional photographer when you can show your images on a professional proofing site. Exactly. So I don't know if there was any other questions. I could um, show you one more thing here. I believe it's been discussed, but I don't think I showed it. I think it's right here. If you go to Rick Blanco, you can see what the certificate looks like. Is that what you're going to yeah, do? I just want to show. I don't know if I showed you, Kevin, or not. When you go to a photographer's profile, this is this is what will benefit them. If you go to their profile, and then you can go directly to their company website. And now, it's up. It's up to the, the photographer if they want to do this or not. But I think it's a powerful tool. For both caption true emotion and the and the photographer as well. If you scroll down here, you see their their CTE, their Certified Professional Photographer seal. And if you click on that, that'll take the the client or their competitor directly back to capturing true emotion that talks about what it is to be. A certified professional capturing true emotion photographer. And they can see at this point we have three levels a three star, a four star, and a five star. This particular photographer is a five star based on his years of experience and his education. And so it just offers so much credibility to a consumer and, um, and to the photographer as well. And absolutely. So basically what we're trying to do is create a savvy consumer that knows who a professional photographer is and what it means to be a professional photographer. Who wouldn't want that for their site? And especially now, FYI, it's free. So there's really no risk involved for anybody to be uh, part of Capturing True Emotion and to put yourself in this group of photographers.
And then uh, another big motivator here is our relationship with our professional labs. And we're, we're seeing the labs are getting hurt um, in the industry as, as it is right now because there's a lot of photographers that are shooting and burning. And what that means is they're, they're taking the, the images and they're just handing a DVD to their client. And everybody loses in that situation. The reason why is because now the client can't have superior products. They have to go find consumer resources. How, how scary is it going into a client's house and seeing uh, your work on the wall that was printed uh, by Costco or Walmart or beautiful printing places for your vacation pictures, but definitely not for a professional product up on the wall. So I would much rather when you know our professional photographers are offering their services that they have their quality labs and that's where the work and the business is going to. And there's, and there's um, so many different um, roads you can take in photography. And a lot of those roads require just digital images. And um, as a portrait photographer, I do, I have clients that want the digital images. However, I build my packages so that they pretty much have to get physical products if they want the digital images. Correct. So there's definitely ways that we can ensure that we give back to our labs and thank them for the credibility that they give us by also giving back business. And we're not one to tell a photographer how to run the business. Nope. We just we just want a consumer to be to, we want Capturing True Motion to be able to say the photographers here do offer professional products. And customer service. Yep. So thanks again, everybody. And Kevin, hey, I think can you guys uh, talk about um, the blog post. After, sure. And, and can I do that, Val? Yeah. So what's really cool about the blog posts is that you could kind of do it. You can do it two-sided. So you're allowed to do two blog posts on our site a month. Now your first blog post could be one that's really fun, like uh, vacation season is upon us, 10 tips for vacation photography. So how cool is that? You're telling the consumer uh, or giving the consumer tips on their vacation uh, travel photography. So that would be great because when they see you as an expert, you're giving them tips on their vacation photography and you're subliminally plugging yourself. And then your second post that month can be a special that you're running or something about your own business, bringing attention to what you specialize in and possibly uh, saying a promotion that you want to give people. So basically you can talk about whatever you want. Absolutely. And as a photographer, any type of um, that information is good information, and you always want to make Even sure. A really good chili recipe. Sure, why not? This is, <laughs> this is I'm a photographer, and I like chili. I like this recipe. But here, um, once you're registered and you log in, I'll log in as me real quickly, and you log in. Now this login button changes. Here in a moment, it's going to change. It's no longer going to say log in. It's going to now say profile. So you can view your profile. Um, you can, you know, put images in your album. We're going to have photographer resources available. But then you can also submit a blog post, and that's how easy it is. You click on submit a blog post, and now you are an approved columnist, an author, an author on. Caption True Emotion, and you can actually put that in your in your um, resume now as a writer for Caption True Emotion. And so you would just um, write a blog post. We've kept it very simple, so that you can add images, add text, and then um, link it back to your website and so forth, and then hit submit. So it's a very simple way to write a blog on Caption True Emotion. Now, is Does that, that help answer that question? Is it, is it um, 
So is it a blog post that will only appear on your profile? Or is it no. actually, um, is, it, is it where everyone can post and it'll all go to the same, it's like a, ca a just capturing true emotion blog? It's a capturing true, thanks for asking the question. It's a capturing true emotion blog. So when a okay. potential client comes to the site or a photographer, it doesn't matter, they're going to see this resource button here. Where is it? There it is. Resources and blog is right here. So at that point, okay. they will click on that and they will see the, the blog posts. And of course, you're going to want to tag it. And um, once you go to the blog post, you'll be able to search for other blogs and, and or other articles. Yeah, absolutely. In the next few days, we're going to start loading our uh, blog posts on from our uh, already photographers who have submitted them and our own. And at that point, other photographers can take a peek at it and kind of use that as a guide as to different ways to use the blog. The one thing. Um, that you don't want to do is copy a blog post that you have on your own website. And search engines do not like it when you do that. Um, both the photographer who does that and Capturing True Emotions websites will both be penalized for that. So you want fresh um, content anytime you do a blog post. Yeah, absolutely. So, so basically create something new and fun specifically designed to attract the consumer that is coming to capture your emotion and to draw attention to yourself. Awesome. And then obviously uh, the more blog posts, you know, if they take advantage of that two a month, the more content that they put up there, the better, uh, the better that is for their search results on uh, like SEO behind the scenes. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, not only that, Right now, we say up to two. We we might be able to open that up to more blog posts if photographers are, are really wanting to do more. We have to limit it, though, so we don't get spammed. Okay. Understandable. And, um, and just, we know you guys won't spam us, but just saying. <laughs> um, so that's, those are all the questions I have. I just wanted to show uh, a screen, or just, I'm going to show my screen so I can show everyone the, um, special. So we're going to also email this out to you along with the recording in case you guys missed anything. Um, but what we're going to do is, okay, so this is the, if you have any questions, you can always email me, webinar at collages.net. Um, the, the web address, which you see here, we'll, we'll email out as well, the coupon code if you want to sign up for the beta testing. Um, and once again, this is free. So if you guys want to take advantage of it, um, use collages1. Um, it's a limited time offer, so take advantage of it as, as soon as you can. And I also wanted to, we're actually getting some feedback out here um, from, an, from, a, from Phyllis. And her and her husband have actually worked with you guys in the past, and she's just giving you very high regard, saying you're A-plus photographers, instructors, and supporters, and you guys offer a wealth, or offer photographers a wealth of information and she wants to thank thank us and you for this opportunity to uh, get listed on capturing true emotion. So yeah, thank oh, you, Phyllis. Phyllis, you're awesome. Thank you. And your check is on the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's that's actually all I have. All the questions I'm getting, I'm able to answer because I know a lot about capturing true emotion now. So, um, did you guys have anything else that you wanted to say before we? Uh, before we said our goodbyes, I'll give um, I'll throw out our, our toll free number right now for anyone that has questions or wants to just say hello. It's eight six six three six three six nine zero zero. Yep, and and I am so grateful for all of you who are listening, and and we really we enjoyed the times that we were teaching everybody and. Just really love collages. Thank you so very much, collages, for giving us this opportunity. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Of, of course. Thank you uh, for taking the time to do this. This is uh, very beneficial stuff, and you know, we, obviously we believe in it, so we want to give you guys the option or the ability to get the word out, um, especially to all of our customers who are going to now get um, a free year of, of, of listing on true, capturing true emotion. Um, so thank you, everyone. 
for, uh, for joining us today. Uh, we'll be sending out an email shortly with a recording as well as this link to sign up and take advantage of this coupon. And if you have any questions, once again, feel free to email me at webinar at collages.net. Um, we'll also put the toll-free number to contact Val and Stephanie with any, uh, any more specific questions you may have. Um, so that is all I have. Val and Stephanie, thank you again very much for another great webinar. And we will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Awesome. Have a great day, Kevin. Thank, thank you. you Kevin. Thank you all.